Hey, you are now tuned in to Fat Man Chronicles with me, Skittles. I got my start young. I've always been playing music. I always did drums. I was always a drummer since the age of about 13, 14. Got my first drum set when I was, I think, 16 from uh, from my band director, actually, in my school because he got tired of me breaking into the school and playing the drums in the morning, so he just gave me my own drum set. And then I was playing in a band for a while called No One of Consequence. Uh, we traveled around. You can probably look that up and you'll probably hear us, actually. Uh, we did pretty well for a while. Uh, we cut we cut an album. A good Actually, it was more of an EP, but it was, it was a good good. And we did our thing for a while, and then was always into hip hop. Did hip hop and started working on um, hip hop music, and then started working with a group called Double Up out of St. Louis. Got hooked up with Maximilian, and then he introduced us to DJ International. We did some stuff with DJ International, did some shows in Chicago and here in Springfield, and put out about three or four different albums. So they sounded really good as well. And then now I'm just doing my thing under my company called Last Man Standing Productions. And coming out with a new album, uh, not a Skittles album, but more of a production of a bunch of Skittles beats and things like that. And I'm gonna put together a compilation album called Last Man Standing. Skittles Presents Last Man Standing Compilation Volume 1. And I'm gonna have some good artists on it. Um, one of the artists that I know that I'll probably have on it is Agent Orange, which he was the freestyle champion on 106 and Park five uh, five weeks in a row, so he he did really well and then made it all the way to the championship and just killed shit. So big up to Agent Orange and then got a, a couple of the artists that I don't want to quite put out there just yet, but um, that I know I have signed on. But um, the album's gonna be good, so definitely check it out. Jump in this movie that I'm working on with Kim Connor. Um, she's the writer, producer, and director of the movie. She's an awesome, awesome lady. Um, it's got a lot of new faces and a lot of old faces in the movie right now. You can go to facebook.com slash jump in the movie which, and check out all the cast and everything like that. Here's the link right here. One more time, the link is right here. And go in there and check it out and like it and, and see what you think and comment on it and have a good time but that's a new movie that I'm working on as well I'm doing music for that movie um, I have tracks written for that movie which is sounds really good and uh, I've done sound for that movie and it should be coming out in we're hoping mid-October is when we want it to come out so be on the lookout for that stuff and then you can hear a more updates on that on my website as well as the the link to the jump in website my music um, is what really kind of inspires me. It's my everyday thing that I do. Um, you can usually tell how I'm feeling about the way the beat sounds. Like, um, if I'm having a depressing day, my beats sound depressing. If I'm happy and happy, then my stuff sounds happy. Um, it's, that's how I express myself is through my music and how I, how I release and, you know, I kind of go into my corner, my studio and things like that. I express myself through my music and um, that's what my music is me. It is what I do. It's, it's my passion. It's more than just, you know, my career. It's what I love to do. It's, it's why I, I do the things that I do. And music is so expressive and you can say so many things just playing it and one song can be have you in a one mood and then another song can put you in a totally different mood just in a click of a mouse button and it's something completely different that's why I like music and that's what it does for me and uh, I don't ever see myself not doing it so music is what I do constantly always always and forever I'm into different artists you know different kinds of artists um, as weird as it is I like Dave Matthews Dave Matthews Drummer is awesome. Carter Beaufort, one of my favorite drummers of all times. Dave Wuckle is a great drummer. Um, but on the hip-hop side, like right now, I'm really big into MGK and um, the whole EST movement is what I really like. I think he's doing great things for hip-hop and 
Um, I can't wait to see what he does in the future for hip hop. He's bringing it back to where I think it needs to be. So um, lace up on that one. You guys all know what I'm talking about in, out there on that. But I'm I'm influenced by everything. Everything that I see around me it influences me. And then what there for a while, the hip hop to me was just starting to get too commercialized. And then things came back around now with um, average people who are making great music. So, and that's where I'm at as well. And the artists that I work with are the same. They're just like me. I mean, what I'm doing is no different from what anybody else is doing. I like working with creative people. Anybody who's creative. Some of my um, favorite producers are people like Timberland, who I think has put out some of the most creative music out there. He just finds the the most oddball sounds and makes it work. Like I remember listening to an Aaliyah beat that he did, One in a Million. If you listen hard enough, he has crickets in the background of the music and it just, and it works. And it's just incredible. I've heard songs where he put like baby noises in the back of it and it's just, it's incredible. Artists like that, I mean obviously I was a big Dr. Dre fan growing up. I was in that era, the whole Tupac and Biggie and Dre and stuff like that. So he was a big era. And, and people like that is what really influenced people who are creative, people who think outside of the box are people that I like to work with. Um, I don't have one particular type of people, person, or of any kind of genre. I mean, rock people as well. I like, I mean, I, I, my when I make mixed CDs, I have everything from, from MGK to Tupac to, you know, old school to Dave Matthews and Metallica all rolled up in one because to me they're all if it's good music it's gonna be good music and to me it's to the point to where like we really need to stop um, downloading music illegally because that was cool for a while because you can do it but now it is time to support people and support artists that are really working hard and trying to put good music out there that needs to stop like not just for my benefit or anybody in the industry's benefit it just you know you need to support these people because Rappers get paid dick. They don't get paid shit. They they just don't. They are the, actually the last persons to get paid. When they put out an album, <laughs> they're the last ones to get paid. Like, you need to support them. Go out and buy their album. Don't download it. Go and buy that shit. And show support, you know. Go see their shows, you know. Show them support, you know. Big up. 217, stand up on that one as well. Because you need to support your local community in your local music scene too because they're out there just trying to make it work and if you like their stuff don't need to hate on it just let it just let it go keep it going that and said 217 Springfield stand up I'm liking where things are going now I mean I'm excited about hip-hop again I'm excited about music again there for a while it just got dull everything was the damn same but now it's it's coming back around and I'm happy about it so I want to see. I can't. I'm actually excited about to see who's going to come out with what next. So not everything's the same. So I'm happy about where hip hop is right now. You have just watched the Fat Man's Chronicle with me, Skittles. Stay tuned for the next interview, the next skit, or whatever the hell he decides to do next. Stay tuned. Fat people are awesome. I mean, me specifically, not oh, fat people. Fat Man Chronicles is the shit. You still say fuck fat people, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not racist against fat people. Just some of them. It's called sizist, thank you very much. Oh, size. I'm not racist against fat size people. Just some of them.